So let's get started with this. What goes wrong with the metabolism? Why do some people sort of get into this place where they have metabolic damage? I have a seesaw here for you. The nervous system is broken into two parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. So those words may not be familiar to everyone, but sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight nervous system. It's the stressed outside of the nervous system. It's the one that gets you going, keeps you focused, keeps you wired, allows you to carry on functions throughout the day. The parasympathetic side of the nervous system is the laid back, take it easy, no big worry side of the nervous system. And these two things have to be in balance. They work back and forth in concert and equilibrium like a balanced seesaw. When we begin to over exercise or we get ill or we get into chronic stress states or we go on chronic extreme diets, one of these systems begins to dominate. The sympathetic nervous system takes over. That is very much like a 300 pound man on one end of a seesaw and a little tiny man on the other. We call this sympathetic overdrive. And essentially all this means is everyone in this room or everyone uh, rather on the line knows what this is like. If you're in a stressed out state, if you're over exercising, if you have a deadline at work, if you're in an argument with your significant other, you feel what this feels like. It is sort of a uh, energetic, sort of vibration in the body that makes you feel at dis-ease, makes you feel anxious, makes you feel like you're a sports car with your engine revving in overdrive. This is not healthy for the metabolism. The metabolism can handle this no problem in the short term, but over the long run, it creates all kinds of issues. So the sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight. The parasympathetic, we use the rest or digest for that. These are important to understand because you can't be in both states at once. If you're in fight or flight, you by definition are not in the resting or the digesting side of the nervous system. And this has consequences. If you want a good analogy to understand, picture a sports car in park with you revving the engine as hard and as fast as you can, that engine might not be moving, but you are doing damage and using fuel and breaking down all the engine parts. That's what chronic, persistent, extreme dieting, exercising, and stress does to your physiology. So it's like dominoes. What happens is once your nervous system acts up once you get into this overdrive and if it lasts for a long period of time other things begin to become damaged in the process this sympathetic drive this nervous system dysfunction leads to hormone dysfunction that then leads to digestive dysfunction you can't digest your food as well anymore therefore you're not able to digest and absorb your food and get the nutrients out of your food so your body begins to become depleted in the vitamins and minerals not only are you using them up because your metabolism is revving at such a high speed but you're not able to get them in the body either this has consequences one of the main ones is brain chemistry changes the brain needs things like magnesium to make neurotransmitters it needs things like amino acids to make neurotransmitters or brain chemicals that make us feel good and balance our mood so you might notice in this state that you have anxiety or you have depression or you have both you don't have motivation you get tons of cravings this is what begins to happen in this nervous system dysfunction this domino effect then you get immune depression. How many of you can ask yourself if you've ever done, you know, marathon training, triathlon training, or chronic exercise that you get tons of upper respiratory tract infections as a consequence? <clears throat> so finally, you get membrane damage. So each cell in your body has a membrane around it filled with fats that determines how your hormones function, and those membranes can become damaged. 